Hey everyone, welcome back. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is set up a Dreamcast emulator on your PC. And this emulator will play most of those classic Dreamcast games from the late 90s and early 2000s. It's not guaranteed to work with every game, but it works with enough to have some fun. The first thing you want to do is create a new folder to warehouse the emulator, to warehouse the BIOS and the ROMs. So anywhere on your PC that you have room, you want to make a new folder, title this as Dreamcast Emulator. Then go inside of that newly created Dreamcast folder and make two new folders. The first one needs to be called ROMs. The second one needs to be called Games. Yes, I know they sound like they would be the same thing, but trust me, they're not for this particular emulator. Uh, we're actually going to put the games in the games. The ROMs is where uh, the BIOS is going to go. What we're going to do, we're going to go to MU Paradise, and it's like I said, uh, all the links are provided below so you can go to these places nice and quick. We're going to download this DE Mall emulator and this is the emulator I found that works the best and the most consistent with the Windows based operating system. Now that we have the program downloaded to our computer we have to unzip it. You may need either WinZip to unzip this or uh, WinRAR. I personally like to use WinRAR because I think it has a lot more versatility. That's just my preference. WinZip will also work as well. I need to copy this folder and I'm going to place it inside of this Dreamcast folder that I created. So I'm just going to paste it, extract it here. And from this point, what you're now going to notice is we have all these different files. This file right here, this DEMUL, that's the application file. That's the one that we will use to run the emulator. And the nice thing about this emulator, it does not require you to install anything. Now, uh, real quick, what we need to do, we need to actually go find the BIOS for this. Without the BIOS, you can't actually run the emulator. Uh, these are the files that would be included actually in the original piece of hardware, and you can't find these with the emulator. You have to go to the web, and I've actually provided you with another link. Uh, this link right here, it says Dreamcast BIOS All World. Go ahead and download those right now. What we want to do? We actually just want to copy this folder and we want to put it inside of our Dreamcast folder, but we want to put it right here where it says ROMs. So go ahead and paste that. So with the BIOS that we've copied over from downloading it, we need to go inside the zip folder. We want to go to where it says DEMUL 0.7. We want to copy that and we actually want to put that right here. Put it right there in the BIOS folder. If we click on that folder, you're going to notice there's all these different BIOS here. Do not unzip these. Leave these alone. Otherwise, the emulator cannot read these BIOS if they're unzipped. It's going to look for a zip folder. Now next, what we want to do, we actually want to configure the emulator so it can run. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go ahead to this application file, this DEMUL file. Click on that. And it's going to pop up this message, BIOS and uh, plugins not configured. No, they're not. That's what we're going to do right now. And so here it is. We're going to configure that right as of this moment. The first thing we're going to do upon uh, first opening this, we're going to go under this where it says GD-ROM plugin. We want to go under that and we want to select GDR image. We have to do that because we're going to be using images. We don't have the actual disk themselves. Uh, DVD drives, Blu-ray drives, none of the above will work even if you have the original disc. The Dreamcast uses this weird GD-ROM drive, which very few drives will even read today. So uh, the best way to do it is to set this up. So go ahead and click OK. Now the emulator is up and running. We want to come up here to where it says Dreamcast BIOS and you're going to notice it says world up there. If you find a game's not working, you can change the BIOS. Maybe it's dependent on the region. I found that this one works the best for me. Now, we want to come back up here to configure and you can configure the video. On a side note, I have found for some strange reason that this emulator works better with ATI cards. Uh, it will work with NVIDIA. You just have to do some tweaking. I'm using a NVIDIA card. Now, we need to come back up to configure. We're going to go under controls and we're going to configure our controller. This Dreamcast emulator will use a variety of controllers. I like to use Logitech, but uh, I've also used the official Xbox One controller and Xbox 360 controllers, uh, the wired versions, but I'm using a Logitech. So we're going to hit Joy One 
and we're just going to simply map this. So let me map this. All right, there we go. I have it mapped. Click OK. Now that we've got the emulator up and running, let's go get some games. That's the whole reason we did this in the first place. All right, so I've given you the link to the uh, Emu Paradise where they actually warehouse some of the uh, ROMs or the ISOs is actually what they're called. So we're going to come here. We're going to hit Proceed to Dreamcast ISOs. This is arranged alphabetically. Uh, you can choose whichever game you want. This, In this case, I'm actually going to be kind of lazy, and I'm going to look for Resident Evil 3 because it's one of the most downloaded. So I'm going to click that, and the unfortunate part about MU Paradise is that they have a lot of clicking you have to do. So here's the game. Uh, here's a side note. Right here is the game I want to download. You'll notice that it's actually, it says Resident Evil 3 Nemesis USA, and it's 763 megs or megabytes. We want to download that. Avoid these RDCs or the Echelon ones. They usually don't work, and they are a waste of time. Yes, they're smaller in size, but they're probably not going to work. So let's go ahead and download this right now. So click on this screen, and you'll notice it's starting to download. We'll be right back when that's downloaded. All right, now that our game's finished downloading, it's back in our download folder. I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to place it back inside of the Dreamcast emulator folder in the games folder. Uh, the reason I want to do this is because I want to keep all my games in the same directory. Once I've copied the zip folder here, I'm actually going to make a brand new folder for the actual game Resident Evil 3. You want to make a new folder for each game because here in a moment you're going to see when I go to extract this file, it's going to create a bunch of different files, and if I have them all in the same folder, it's going to make it a messy experience. So, now that I've got that new Resident Evil 3 folder created, uh, simply put the zip folder inside of there, go inside the Resident Evil 3 folder, extract it, or copy the contents within the folder, and you'll notice that there are four new files that are created. I can go ahead and delete this one, the zipped folder, after I've either copied it or extracted it. It's just wasted space now. Let's go ahead and go to the emulator. We have to load in the game. We're going to go up to config. We're going to go to GD-ROM, and we're going to look for the image file. So hit select and find where your Dreamcast emulator folder is that you've created. Go inside the games folder, select the game. In this case, it's Resident Evil 3, and there I have Resident Evil 3. Notice it's the only file I can select. Hit open. Hit OK. Now the disk has actually been loaded inside of the machine. Come up to file. Hit run Dreamcast. And the emulator will start playing. Uh, don't worry about the psychedelic or strobing effects. It will probably give you a seizure if you left them on too long. They'll stop momentarily, as you see. And let's see if our game is going to play. And there you go. Now you can play most of the Dreamcast games on your PC. Uh, not all of them will work. Make sure that uh, you avoid those Echelon or RDC versions of the ROMs because they don't seem to work very well. And if you have any problems, you can go up generally to your video and you can configure some things. You can do some tweaking uh, for your settings. Maybe a game's not working. You could try tweaking it a little bit to see if it's going to work for you. Uh, so there you go. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and thanks for watching.